<laughs> Listen to Ezra. Why does this sound familiar? Because Suicide Mission sounds like I am the Doctor. It's an argument that was made on Who's There a Doctor Who podcast, which you should be streaming. All of you should be streaming. Um, I, want, I wanted to see if someone said that. Look at that. Look at that. They are like, it, they're so similar, it's uncanny. And this came after I and the Doctor. So I'm just saying Jack Wall's Doctor Who fan. No, almost not. It's probably, it's probably just coincidental, but either way, it's funny. Um, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. How are we doing? Welcome, welcome. Sussy side mission, please laugh. No, no one's laughing at that, Chris. No one's laughing at that. Do better. Be better. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gartic Phone. We are going to play some Gartic Phone today. We're going to be making another lobby, letting people join in, having a good time, and uh, just drawing some wacky shit, you know? Just going to draw some wacky shit. I'm just getting set up on this end and making sure we're all good to go. Um... Let's see, there we go. Got to find it's been a while. It's been a little bit. I, I updated the VOD archive today. Not completely. There's still about 11 streams, 12 streams yet to publish. Um, but if you haven't checked out the VOD, VOD archive, you should do that. It'd be very, very cool of you to do so. Um, right, so the Gartic phone lobby is going to be open. I'm going to give it a little bit of time to let people fall in and join the game because we're a little bit low and it kind of like Black Ops Cold War like yesterday. I feel like we might get people showing up after a couple of minutes. Um, so here is your lobby link, ladies and gents. I'll pop that in there and I'll pop it in the Discord. Um, but in the meantime, I will get the stream shared on Discord because I haven't stream shared on in a few Discord servers because I'm a shameless self-promoter. Okay, put it in there. Put it in Crispy Pro server. Put it in any server that will fucking take it. Any server. You've got to work to promote your shit chat. You've got to work. You've got to put the effort in. Otherwise, what's the point? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. So, okay, we're looking good. Crisp D's, yes, crisp D's nuts. Crisp D's nuts. I'll join, but I'm just doing something maybe later though. Hope you do. I hope you join later. Otherwise, I'd be very sad. You know, I'd be very sad. Um, only four people in here so far, so I'm hoping we get a couple more people before we kick the match off. So, everyone make sure that if you want to join... Now's the time. Get in the lobby. I'll put in the link to the lo lobby's link in there. There we go. There we go. All right. Cool. So, just while waiting, very, very briefly, I want to do a very, very small little uh, promo section for Pop in a Box because you guys know I do this every now and again. Um, bright, turn the brightness up because, yeah, sheesh, that camera was a bit dark. Um, in fact, I think I fucked up on the stream title. I think I was meant to include the gifted bit in the title. I was. That's very silly. Uh, have I still got it in my clipboard? Hopefully it's still there. It's easy to be able to type it out again. That'd be great. Yeah, there we go. I just, for some reason, copied the wrong title. There we go. Cool. Um, so as you all know, just very briefly, um, I've got a, a deal with Pop in a Box at the minute, who are a, pop, a company you get pops from. So if you're interested in collecting Funko Pops, they're a good company to do so. All the details are right there. You can head to the link that's right there to get... Uh, it supports me with uh, kind of like a cut out of your sales. I'm pretty sure it is if you go there. But also use my discount code to get 10% off in-stock items, 50% off subscriptions, and 5% off pre-orders. That's the, the usual sponsored blurb. The stream itself isn't sponsored by them. There's just an ongoing deal where whenever they send me some stuff, I open it and do a little sponsored deal for them. So it's not that it's not a case of this stream is sponsored by Pop in a Box. It's just they've sent me some cool shit. I'm going to show you. I'll give you the link. Everyone's happy because it's a good site and I want to share the stuff. So they have a little deal where every now and again, I pick out a few pops for them to send over. It's not a mystery box like it is with Zavi because if it was, I'd get pops that I probably wouldn't want. And as a lot of you know, I'm trying to be a bit more picky with the pops that I have these days. But two batches have come back to back because there was a shipping issue. This is the first one that I've got is the one that came that should have come first and never did because there was a shipping issue. Something went wrong or something, I think, with the, with the new deal being set up. But they sent me uh, they sent me three Eternals pops, which I know is, is going to be something that's niche for me and not so much for other people because not everyone loves Eternals the way I do. But we got we've got a Druig who is very, very cool, who is now the new Joker. So maybe that pop will be worth more. Who knows? I don't know. Well, the actor is anyway. We've got a Cersei, which I thought was very, very cool. I really liked it. I'm just jumping along these very quickly because I know the, bi the big ones are coming and I want to show you one in particular. But this one I really like, Makari. I love that pop. That's a very cool sculpt. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Eternal D's nuts, exactly. Eternal D's nuts. You really got them there. Is it like a, why is there a small layer of dust on here? They've only been out here for like a day or two. Am I just dying? Maybe I'm just dying. Maybe that's what it is. I'm just coughing up the last bit of dust in my lungs and I'm going to just fucking keel over and die. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I hope that's not true. Otherwise, I've just jinxed it. And if I disappear off the internet, you'll wonder what happened now. But it's three pops every time. And like I said, they let me choose whatever size of pop I want. So I kept it a bit smaller this time. 
Uh, we've gone first off for a Bo-Katan from The Mandalorian, which I thought was really cool because I do like The Mandalorian. I think it's a very good show. We've gone for everyone's favorite plastic surgery uh, sufferer, sufferer, whatever, Colin Farrell's Penguin from The Batman. Because it's pretty much the only character I didn't have that I wanted from The Batman Funko line. So that's very cool. We got, we got Oswald Cobblepot. Not the chase, but what can you do? Uh, but the big boy, the big boy. It's playing Black Ops Cold War music. That's different. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it on. That's cool. The big boy that I wants to show off more than any was this fucker. Look at this. Boba Fett and Fennec Shand on the throne from Book of Boba Fett. Or technically from Mandalorian end credits. Whatever. So I thought that was really cool. And I was like, can I have that? And they were like, yes, you can. And I was like, I'll have that then, please. So that is dope. I don't know whether I'll get that out of the box. I might well do. But it's very cool. And that's easily the highlight of the lot. I'm very happy because the Eternals ones, they've sent me finish out the Eternals collection. I've finished out Batman. I've got an extra Mandalorian one for a character I really liked. And then I've got this little cracker. The problem is I've got my Batmobile on, in the box in front of me right here. And I can't put this on top because it'll be too much pressure from the boxes. So I'm going to have to work out where I'm going to put it, you know. But we'll get there. So just as a little reminder, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to support Pop in a Box to thank them for sending me this stuff and just get some cool shit for yourself, use that link that's right there in the Streamlabs command and use the code RALPIAB, that's obviously very much alive, Pop in a Box, to get 10% off in-stock items, 15% off subs because they do like monthly subscriptions where they'll send you a pop from a certain theme, and also 5% off pre-orders. Very epic. Make the most of it. Sponsored section over. Okay, so ladies and gents, let's get set up for Gartic Foam. Is anyone in need of the invite link? Let me know if so, and I will drop it in the chat again. Just popping these pops down so they're out of my way for the moment. And now that I've actually shown them off, I want to put those Eternals ones on display for like a week, because I've had them for a little bit now, but I've still been trying to build back up into streaming, haven't I? I was going to do it yesterday, but we got a bit bogged down with the whole Activision fucking hates me thing. Um, cool. All right. Okay, so... Uh, we just about good to go. I'll just put the invite link in again in case anyone wants to join the lobby. What you'll probably find is we'll get more people joining the stream as it goes along and they'll be like, oh, can we please join? Can we please join? I'll be like, yeah, sure. Um, so yeah, make sure you slide in. Last chance now and then we'll get started in the game. We well, might, might mix up the game modes this time and just do something a bit different. Ah, oh, fab. I just sent a friend a link to a Doctor Who bit of merchandise they were looking for, and they're very happy. That's cool. I'm just such a friendly person, you know, chat. I'm just so nice. Give me a minute and I'll be there. All right, Elian, I'll wait for I'll wait for you. I'll wait for Welshie. Yeah, what do you think of the, the new Gartic phone layout, where it's not my camera over random fucking adverts, it's just the Gartic phone bit in here? Is this an open lobby? Every rando on Twitch and Troy ends the stream. Literally, you get him. And it takes a while, but they'll start folding in, and they'll start going, oh, can, can I join? Is this an open lobby? And I go, well, it's in the middle of a fucking game, so take a hint. What do you think? It's like, yes, you can join, but when the match is over, you can't join midway through, can you? Or they'll join, like, afterwards, and it'll be stupid. All right, what's this? Okay. It's new game mode. So we've got compliment. Complete the sketch. Start with basic lines and see other person's interpretations. I like the sound of that. Or background. Animation of the context. Create a fixed background for your animations. Okay. Interesting. Make your own animation in five frames, play alone or with friends. Okay. Odd. Oh, is that is that Elian? Is Elian here now? Yes. Okay, we're good to go. If anyone else is looking to join, now's the time to say so. I'll just um Oh, it's playing the Spider-Man theme. Bloody hell. Decent game music right now. Um Oh there you go, War Hero, if you want to join real quick, there's your link. Right, anybody else looking to join before we kick off? Or are we good to go? Let me know. If anyone else is waiting, now's the time to tell us. If not, we'll get started. Um, I don't know what what game should we go with. Play with just one sentence, often with those drawings. Keep yourself focused. Try to replicate the drawings while the clock gets faster. All the actions are a mystery. Drawings and senses are hidden during the game. Wait, what? How does that one work? That's intriguing. Um, you score a hit every time you keep the meaning of senses and drawings. Ooh, okay. How does that one work? How would you maintain the score? How do we know this? How would that work? How would it know if you've maintained the meaning of a drawing? Would I have to, like, veto it and confirm whether they have or not? I suppose I would have to do that, I guess. But I don't know for sure. I don't quite know how it works, ladies and gents. I'm not too sure. But that could be a good game mode to play as well. Um, 
What do we think? Anyone got a preference for which one we start off with? Anyone, anyone got any kind of preference? What sandwich? Start rice can keep drawing until the end. Finally describe the last drawing. Ooh, okay. But how would that... What, so would you draw based on seeing the previous drawing? Because that sounds like drawing Chinese whispers, but I don't know quite how that would be executed, I don't know. Um, do normal or icebreaker as a safe bet? Yeah, I'm thinking possibly icebreaker. Start with solo because memes. This is up to five players, so of course we can't. Come on. Oh, wait, no, alone with friends. Well, no, nah, nah. Let's do icebreaker. Let's start off with the classic, and then we'll mix it up. I think compliment might be the nice, the one that another one to go for next. My mouse is currently plugged in charging, so it's going to be really hard to draw with this fucker, but we'll make it work. Right, write a sentence. Um... What's on my mind right now that no one else will understand? Fuck it. Let's see who actually knows what this means and if they can draw with it. 20 quid as it goes to someone who hasn't got a fucking clue what it means. Don't ever Google anything when we're playing this. Nobody Google anything. Let's have good. Let's make a new rule. Google is banned. Okay? And if Ant, Dude, or Ant, Sponge are in the lobby, which I'm not sure if they are, I didn't check. No fucking drawing, writing loads of fucking text. Draw something. Because when they write something, it's like I'm looking at a three-year-old scribble on a wall. Like, no offense, but you, I can't read what you're saying. If you watch Ral and don't know what this is, I swear. Okay, well, it's going to be like Metal Gear Rising knowing you. I mean, come on. Clearly, you don't own an air fryer, Chris. All right. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, right. Okay. Um, I've got an idea. <laughs> I've got an idea. Oh, I'm going to completely throw it off to piece, but I'm very, very... I'm definitely going to do this. I'm definitely going to do this. Um... Why is my Gartic phone so laggy? My game is like super laggy right now. That is peculiar. I'm gonna I'm gonna close Twitch and close that. And go with that. Yeah, it's just a bit laggy. Is that just me? I don't know. Um, maybe the Gartic phone servers are overloaded right now. You know, the busy game that is Gartic phone. Fucking Halo! Ew! Go away! Ugh. Ugh. Sorry, sorry. I'm gonna hell. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I don't know what came over me there. I'm really, really sorry. Apologies for that, gamers. Um, let's go Sonic. As we always do on this channel. Um, right, how am I going to draw this? Okay, so I'm going to do this. And then he has those, like, white glasses. I can't remember what exactly he looks like. I'm just going to put buttons on him because why not? <laughs> oh my goodness. How many live viewers did he have? I have absolutely no idea. Um... His, like profile picture. And you can have like, did he have? Didn't he have like? Oh, he had 500 followers, didn't he? I remember. Shit. And a purple sub or pink sub button. Okay, and then just fill the rest of the screen with purple. To show that it's Twitch. Shit, no, never mind. That looks good as is. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Let's see how this goes down. Troy goes to the shop and buys his favourite thing. I mean, are we talking pops or like Doctor Who merch? Marvel things? I don't know. Um... Right. Uh... Should, should I pick a certain store in particular that I like going to? Because I could, I, I know, I know one I could shout out, shout out like 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 anyone's gonna go there when I say it. I don't think anyone I know lives near Liverpool, so. Um. Shout out Worlds Apart in Liverpool, though they are a very cool store. Um. Okay, so there's me and the, I don't know. I guess I'll do a Funko shop. I suppose that makes sense, right? 
Okay, and I've got some got some of that moolah in my hand, some of that Monet, even though we don't have... Oh. You all see that? That was a bit weird. My bitrate okay? Yeah, it's fine. It's just Gartic Phone shit in the bed. Okay. Um, yeah, I think the Gartic Phone service must be a bit dodgy right now. Didn't think Gartic Phone service would be a problem, but there you go, ladies and gents. What can you do? Pop Funkos and Zavi stuff. Zavi, pop in a box, ugh, Forbidden Planet, anything like that. Anything like that is the way to my heart, you know? That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Skipping over that. Oh, no, actually, we'll have, we'll have to sip some select screen. That was cool. All right. Before he goes to the shop and buys his favorite things, well, what else am I meant to put there, you know? What else am I meant to put there? Not a lot else. Let's see where it goes from here, though. Where shall it proceed? No one knows. I mean, I know literally nothing about this game. So I'm going to do something really, really, really cheesy and kind of cheesy. And I don't really care. I have absolutely no shame. And just to really shit house it, I'm going to do the upside down version as well. Do do do. I'm actually nailing writing upside down. Look at me go. Do 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 do. Oh, this is going to be hard now. Yep, yeah, that's it. Boom. You can't fault it. You cannot fault the drawing. You can't fault it. Steam is one of the ultimate no money stores, if that makes sense. Yes. This is a bit of detail. Yeah, it's it it is literally an Elden Ring. But, but is that is that not what they wanted? Is that not what they wanted? That's crazy. I had no idea. That's wild that. That's wild. Who knew? Who knew that wasn't what they wanted? Not me. Didn't have a clue. But that's often just how I am, you know, I am just clueless. I think I always find funny about Gartic phone streams is you know when you're playing a game when the chat are involved because the chat goes so much quieter. Oh, speaking of chat interaction games, by the way, I meant to mention this, and I know most people are playing Gartic phone right now while I'm streaming, but you all can slide in the chat and tell me what you think. Um, I recently bought Trivial Pursuit 2 to play with my mates, and there's a play with Twitch option, I noticed. I don't know if you need to... I'm, I'm going to look this up real quick. Uh, I don't know if you need to own the game to play on Twitch. I'm presuming you don't. And if that's the case, that could be a really fun game to stream because I love Trivial Pursuit. Let me just see how this works. Yeah, I thought it'd be really cool. Uh, it features a new uh, Twitch mode for folks who like to live stream their games, which enables them to not only stream the game but play against their audience as well. Chat uses a poll system to submit one answer against the streamer. To help spice up the competition, streamers can also invite up to two friends to play along. Oh, wow. Okay. That could be really cool. It's basically just a giant quiz game. Guy made out of magnets. Okay. I actually have a pretty good idea for this. I'm going for like the classic kind of like Looney Tunes magnet style design. Like the proper like red and grey electromagnet type thing. And there's just, I don't know, a string holding him together. Don't question it. Okay. 
do, do. Can we please get like Sonic Heroes remastered? Fuck Sonic Colors Ultimate. I want Sonic Heroes Ultimate. There we go. It's a guy literally made out of magnets. Uh, but yeah, it's a giant quiz game. It's normally four players, but it's like it's got all different rounds. Like, it's all about general knowledge and all kinds of stuff like that. And I love that shit. I thrive on it. And I think it's really good fun. So if I can whip that up for a stream, that could be really good fun. And I don't believe you have to own it. Um, let's see how it works. Is there like a specific page to explain it in more detail? Yeah, here we go. Last year's compete against their viewers thanks to a voting system in the Twitch chat. Streamers can select the Twitch mode in-game, invite up to two friends to the game and play against the viewers in the party mode. Play as one contender with the other viewers and choose your answer by entering its number in the chat. Oh, right, so it literally becomes a 1v1 between me and the chat. The answer with the most votes gets picked. Earn points each time you select the correct option to move the leaderboard ranking is shown at the end of each round. Showcase your knowledge to prove you are the best viewer. Okay. So I, I go against the viewers as a collective, but it will record everyone's individual answers and say who the best one is. That's cool. I like that. All right, then, then I'll set that up. I'll see that. I'll set that up and I'll see what we can do with it. I'm going to try and make that a stream later in the week. That could be fun. That could be really good fun. Oh, bruh. Um, what was it called? What was it called? Like, I didn't know not to fucking write Spider-Man. I hate I have to write out the full fucking logo for this. Oh, it's not easy to draw with a trackpad. Can I do it any better with the mouse or even with a wire around it? Maybe I can. Across the spider verse. Come on. Eh. Eh. Spider verse. Speaking of, why the fuck are Sony announcing they're doing an El Muerto film about a dude who's literally been in two Spider-Man comics? Like, two issues, and that's it. Like, I'm someone who actually didn't mind Morbius, but, like, what the fuck is that about? Morbius actually has, like, proper comic runs. I fucked up. I realized as I was drawing it. Spider-Verse 2 is the one that's in 2023 now, and Spider-Verse 3 is in 2024. There we go. With what I just drew, you'll tell I never saw it properly. Oh, God, I'm, in I'm intrigued now. I'm very intrigued. Similar to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Eh, kind of. Sometimes there are questions with four answers. Sometimes there's like a wall of 16 answers and there's some of them are right and some of them aren't. You have to pick the correct ones. The games vary. There's a bunch of different like mini games within it, but it's all about like general knowledge. So kind of like who wants to be a millionaire. Yeah. Wow. As if Ezra just like rate, just bashed on it on Elian like that by saying a woman. As if. That's abuse. Can't believe that. And between mods as well. That's actually friendly fire. Like, come on, Ezra. Fortnite Ninja? Fortnite Ninja? Oh my gosh, Fortnite Ninja. Oh wow. I don't even I don't I don't want to draw this dude. In fact, I will literally I'll, I'll just draw. It's wacky hair that'll do. So it looks like he came out of like Santa Maria Pier in GTA 5. Not Santa Maria. What's it fucking called in GTA 5? Vespucci Beach. No, it's Santa. Is it Santa Maria? I think it is Santa Maria. Oh, I don't fucking remember. 
Looks more like fucking Sonic. I'm 22 years of age drawing this shit out at half seven on a Tuesday night. There we go. That That is that is literally what Fortnite Ninja looks like. That is Fortnite Ninja. Ladies and gentlemen, I have drawn Fortnite Ninja. <laughs> if I would control Rewind, I would want Fortnite and Marcus Brownlee. And he just, and then like, his, 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 like, <laughs> oh, if, if Mark, Mar yeah, forget it, I was going to try and make a joke there, it won't work. You complaining about it? Complaining about what? Any planned Minecraft or GTA streams this or next week? Um, I wanted to carry on with the GTA 5 campaign, but the last stream tanked, and it kind of put me off continuing with that series, but I might, I might well still do. I might still do, because I kind of want to carry on playing the campaign anyway. Um, Minecraft should, should be Friday. I should bring back Minecraft on Friday. We'll see. Uh, highly likely though, likely. Right, um, display mode, auto, manual, voiceover, beginning. All right. I'm so scared. I, I, this, this thread's going to get fucking demolished immediately. I, I know that no one's going to have drawn this. It depends on who we got. <gasps> we got Ezra! Oh, Ezra, right. I'm fucking relying on you. I am relying on you to have done this well. I am relying on you, and if you haven't done this well, I'm going to cry. I love River as much as the next guy, but that's not the right fucking drawing! It's not the right drawing. I'm just going to pose like this right now because it's probably be the thumbnail. There you go. I'm very upset. I'm very upset. Oh, I forgot it's icebreaker. So everyone draws the, frame, the pr prompts, don't they? Sophie Aspen? No. <laughs> no, what? no one has a fucking clue. Okay, get in. Yes, there we go. There we go. Chris has pretty much done it. That'll do. That'll do. Yes, correct. Well done, Elian. Well done. <laughs> Thas <laughs> Wait, what? Thas minus? <laughs> That's creative. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. That is creative. Okay. What was Fancy's prompt? Spider-Verse 2 delayed. All right, let's see how everyone draws Spider-Verse 2 being delayed. What? I don't know what you're saying there. No time. Fucking that poor Spider-Man needs to be executed. Put out of his misery. Nick Cage supremacy. <laughs> it's gonna be Elian's next profile picture. That. In fact, I'll just just in case Elian wants to get a picture of it. Wait, Morbius sweep. Hashtag Morbius sweep. Hashtag Morbius sweep, ladies and gentlemen. Hashtag Morbius sweep. Beautiful, beautiful. And then I drew literally just as it said, Spider Man across Spider Verse delayed to 2023. Peter Porker needs his own movie, Spock, Vi Spock Vidaverse 2. I can't speak. Fox Vidaverse 2. Okay. Gone Ezra. Out of magnets. Why was this your prompt? Oh, Magneto. Of course. Well, that, that can't be what Ezra was thinking of. Oh, polar opposite. I like it. I like it. I taught chemistry earlier today. What, what the fuck? Oh, he gets like, he sticks to the fridge. I get it. Cool. Cool. I still think mine's the best. Mine, mine is the best. Mine's the best. Yeah, Peter uh, Peter Porker is not as good as Spider Noir. Sorry. Fancy copied. Fancy copied. What a copycat. No. Reject. Oh, it's a fucking MGR reference, isn't it? Fuck off. Why is it a fucking Metal Gear Rising reference every time with you lot? I swear to fuck. You're supposed to wait till after I've played it so I get the reference. Elden Ring. Let's see how everyone draws. I, I thought it was. I don't know why I thought it was normal going back between words and drawings, but it's not. I don't know. Get fucked. Full of maidens. Well, if he's full of maidens, he probably is getting fucked. Um, <laughs> trash. Wow. 
Wow. Damn. Mine's still the best one. Mine's the best drawing. Elden Ring. That's that's brilliant. Okay, there's a man stabbing himself. Do you know what? It's just it's just it all, all it is in this chat is just people copying me. It's just people take my ideas and they just steal them, honestly. No maidens? No maidens? Have you got no maidens? No maidens? Is that meme still a thing? Probably not. Fortnite Ninja. Fortnite Ninja! What has everyone drawn? Let's see. <laughs> He's not seeing enough movement! He's not seeing enough movement! The fuck? <laughs> the fuck did you just say to me, you little shit? Well, I like how everyone drew him miles better than I did. I made him look like a fucking Sonic Forces character. Not... N not what? Oh, not seeing enough movement. Yep, got it, got it, got it. Why does he look like he's out of fucking castle crash? Not castle crashes, battle block theater in that picture. And that's just okay. Pickaxe and a harpoon or pump, I guess. And then mine's just a Sonic Forces character. It's genuinely what you make in the Sonic Forces character creator. Speaking of which, ladies and gents, when when is when is Red Archer Live going to do that Sonic Forces stream? You know, I think it's about time Red Archer Live did a Sonic Forces stream. Don't you all think? I think it's about time he did that. I think it's it's frankly disgraceful he hasn't done that stream yet. I think it's appalling. Paul Dano's Riddler. Right, let's see how everyone draws this fucker. Okay, so he was live on Twitch, you know, because he had 17 follow viewers on Twitch and 500 followers, something, I don't know. One sub equals one kill, Gotham. Fuck's sake. Okay, oh, someone's ooing at him in the, from the distance, I guess. Okay, yep, question mark, that works. Peter San. God. Are those fucking Riddler trophies? Are those Riddler trophies? Get them out of my fucking face right now. I mean, what have you goes got? To the shop and buys his favorite things. Now, this is what I'm interested to see. I'm going to head out and go sleep and make sure to watch the VOD tomorrow. All right, see you, don't scam. Can't believe you keep going to bed at this time and not watching the stream, though. It's, it's frankly appalling behavior. I can't imagine anyone else doing that. I think it's disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful. No. Why have I got a green and blue penis? Or what is that you're trying to do? I don't know. Is that is that a pop? I'm guessing. I'm guessing it's a pop. I like how we're almost in the same place on the on the fucking drawing. There, that's creepy. Oh, bit. You you can't. Why would you realize what you're trying to say there? Buying bitches. You know you know what that you know what that that sounds like. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't in the market for no prostitutes. I'm good, bro. I'm good. I'm okay. And seven caps, yes. Oh, by the way, Elian, uh, you weren't here yesterday, so celebration mode. I have finally tested negative for COVID, so I'll send you a hat in the next couple of days. I'll wait a couple more days to make sure there's no like leftover germs lying around from me still testing positive, and I'll send the hat out to you. I haven't signed it yet, but I'm going to sign it soon. I'm very excited to write lots of shit on it that you won't like. <laughs> now, that drawing is great. I love that one. It's a fucko pop, though, so that's not very cool. McDonald's is not a shop. For one thing, and what would I buy there that would be my favourite thing? What, chicken nuggets? Come on. Fucking mutual meat of Mackey's. Fuck me. Oh, fuck off, bitch. Lol. You know? Food. Yes, but that's not that's not my favourite thing. It used to be, but then I lost weight, you know? Right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So, let's, make, let's bring the lobby link out again for everyone because there are more people here now. Now it's time for you all to get in the lobby. So, click that link and get on in. And then we can decide what game we're going to do. We're going to do a new one that we haven't done before. No idea which one, but we'll get there. Mm. Very nice. All right, in come the gamers. In come the gamers. Hey, Michelle, happy birthday. Hope you're having a good day. And if you want to join the game, feel free. I'm an ex-Homestuck fan artist. You kind of end up somewhat decent at art. Oh. Fair enough. How about secret? I don't understand how that one works. I don't quite get how that one works. Drawing senses are hidden during the game. I don't know. Like, I don't get... How does that work? I suppose we could do it for out of interest. See what it means. I'm interested. Protect the woman. Wait, what? Protect her. Oh, Michelle, yeah. Donda in Team Fortress 2. Go away. Go away. Donda is, mi is weak. It's not even mid. It's a huge L. Imagine liking Donda. Pfft. My art skills are very rusty. 
Michelle, do you think we're playing right now with a bunch of, of GCSE artists? We're not. I think I just caught something on my shoulder. Ow. Ow. Mm. It means it's partially anonymous. Wow. So we don't even know who's drawn them. Well, that's, that's a bit boring then. I don't know. Uh, start the basic line, see the praise interpretation. Back. What's crowd? Faster mode with fewer turns. Try it out with crowds of 15 or more players. No. Animation, no. Speed run, no. Knockoff. Try to replicate the drawings while the clock gets faster. Mm, that could be possibly interesting, but it might get cursed quickly. Let's try secret. Let's see where secret goes. You know what? If it sucks, we just never play it again. Anybody else wanting to join? Last chance. There's the lobby link. Get in now if you're planning to. About to get ready to head out for a bit. Hopefully get a bite to eat and such. So you're not even going to be here for the stream. Honestly, Michelle, I'm just disappointed. That's a joke. That is a joke. You enjoy your birthday. I didn't take GCSE art and I don't regret it whatsoever. I browse Tumblr for four years and you become goaded at it. Genuinely, I, I didn't take GCSE art either. I would never have been good at it. I was like, nope. Nope. You'll give Troy a proper beat down. Well, that's not very nice, Michelle. I was thinking I was being nice to you on your birthday. Don't be nasty. There's no need for it. You're going to upset me. You're going to make me very sad. You're going to make me cry. Cry many, many, many tears. So do nothing different, noted. Fuck you. All right, let's go then. Hmm. <gasps> oh, look, you can't see what I'm typing. Oh, wow. Wow. So you literally have no idea what my starting prompt is. Intriguing. No, for f oh, fuck off. I don't know how I don't know how to draw this. I've never ever I, don't, I haven't played TF2. I don't know what he looks like. Why is it why is it this color? <gasps> oh no. Oh no. I don't know what I'm Oh no. This was the worst idea ever. This was the worst idea ever. You you can't physically see your drawings. Oh no. So I presume we'll see the drawings when you go to write the word prompts. And again, it'll become a mystery again. Oh, this is cursed. This is a cursed game mode. I don't know how I feel about this yet, lads. Uh, and lads, ladies, and everyone in between. I have no idea. I have no idea. I, I don't. This is going to get chaotic fast. So I'm going to see someone's drawing and someone will be like, oh, I think that was mine, but they won't even know for, with confidence, probably. This is going to get interesting fast. Is this meant to be Riddler with his trophies again? I've put a very, very witty sentence in there. Oh, now fuck off. No. Whoever this horny fucker is, you ain't getting shit. You ain't getting shit. This should be just, just, just be the stream, not the entire mode. No, I like it, speedrunner. I like it. It's an interesting concept. It makes it chaotic. No one knows what exactly they're drawing. You have to just guess it. It's the blindfolded drawing game mode. I like it. I don't know why they would they would hide the word prompts. That seems a bit odd. Apart from for the streamer, obviously. But the drawings, I like it. It makes it interesting. It's cursed. It's very cursed. It's very cursed. It's going to be a very interesting result, I feel like. But I'm here for it. I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued. These drawings are going to be all over the place. What, have you drawn KSI? What's going on there? That sounds like madness to me, Alien. Alright, what's next?
Shit. Fuck, I didn't... F oh, I didn't finish it. Shit. Um... What am I meant to draw here? I'm trying to be inventive here and not fuck it up. Messed up at the start. Let's hope it recovers. We'll soon find out. Whoever, whoever got the, the, the this is totally me. I was going to put this is totally me when I'm sad. But I don't really know. Like, it's probably too late for me to say that now. By the time the stream delay gets to whoever it is, they won't be able to make a drawing to match it. So, this is so damn weird. It is a bit odd, but I'm enjoying it. It's a strange vibe, you know? It's a strange vibe. Don't really know what else I can say to that, to be honest. I won't lie, I've been drawing the bare minimum here. Well, this is probably yours then, isn't it? Oh, shit. Okay, um... Okay, well, we know we need to draw the hat, but I'm not going to try and switch cover colours because I'll never see what it is again. Um. I'm just trying to guess as to where I've, like, drawn stuff and where I haven't. I'm going to hope that works. Okay, cool. English is my second language without being able to see my writing the prompts. Hard <laughs> to type. Oh, yeah, I can, I can see that would be a problem. Just do your best. That'll do. Right, ladies and gentlemen, let's have some fun, shall we? Let's see where this one goes. I'm I'm worried. I'm very worried. All right, here we go. Shadow the Hedgehog. I'm just worried that at one of these points I'll spell something wrong. <laughs> what the fuck? That ain't Shadow the Hedgehog, motherfucker. Sonic shoes. Sonic shoes. Yeah. I don't know how you even got Sonic shoes from that, to be honest. Okay. Yep. That's I, no one's gonna get that. But yeah, I Two see what you're doing. Boxes, one red, yep. One yep. This is this is cursed. This is very cursed. <laughs> Fair enough. You did you did as it was asked. Blue box next to red box in white void. Maybe it could be really zoomed up on 3D glasses. Okay, I don't know what the brown bit is there, Fancy. Trying to get creative. Bedroom made out of magnets. <laughs> Why are we going back to fucking magnets again? We went from Shadow the Hedgehog to a bedroom made out of magnets. As it always, as we always do on this channel. Mean pig at the pet shop. Okay. That looks like a pink cockroach sitting on top of a Minecraft character's face. Blind cockroach stuck under a table. Close enough. Both said cockroach. <laughs> that cockroach ain't blind. He missing fucking legs, bro. He missing fucking legs. The fuck? Stuck under. Stuck under. Yes. So what did I do? I stuck under to the wall. What? What? A void of sterile white. I drew. Why did you Why did it say the drawing? I drew the word stuck out. Oh, I'm pissed. I'm pissed. Hang on, if I open this in paint, is it gonna know what I'm what I did? 
Nope, hasn't got a friggin' clue. I wrote the word stuck out, drew a splodge around it, and then labelled it with glue. I used white ink. Amazing. Fucking great. Oh, well, I'll ruin this prompt then. Sorry, fancy. A crime scene with no evidence. That's a stretch. Okay. So when we start with a mean pig at the pet shop, we get a crime scene with no evidence. Interesting. All right, Ezra, what have you got? Henry. Who the fuck is Clayton Ray? Am I going to regret Googling this? I feel like I probably am. Clayton Ray. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> fucking dream. Oh, fucking. I forgot dream got doxxed. Jeez. I forgot that even happened. Oh, bruh. Bruh. I really hope that's not true. Because, like, whether you like him or not, it's a fucked up thing. It is fucked. I don't like that. COVID-19. Fair enough. COVID-19. Yeah. All right. Sneezing out things bigger than you, as you do. Red sun in the sky. Fucking hell. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm having second thoughts about streaming MGR. Why is there white? What's going on there? Oh, clouds. Red sunny there, paradise. Oh, red sun over paradise. I love how Chris can't spell that. Minus spelling mistake. I honestly mistake. have no idea. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> I thought I thought it blurred swear words out. I love it. I had no idea what that was looking at it. I was like, what is that? It's like a fucking rose with like two blue stems next to mountains. I had no idea. No idea. No idea, ladies and gents. What the government is trying to hide from you. Your watch history. I don't know. Area 51. Intriguing. Let me see that ASC boy, eh? What is that meant to be? AFC? Like alien? Alien? Because then you're not written it right anyway. The only response I could give to that. Meh. Mood. 2 plus 2 is 4 quick maths. No, it's 2 plus 2 is 4. Minus 1, that's 3 quick maths. Everyday man's on the block. Smoke trees. See your girl in the park. That girl is at Uckers. When the thing went quack, quack, quack. You men were ducking. I could keep Quick going. Maths. Do you want me to keep going to the whole thing? Because I probably could. Quick maths. Uh, 2 plus 2 is 4. My 4 minus 3 is 1. Quick maths. See, Chris did it better than you, Ezra. Chris did it better than you. Crazy. Got come as a prompt. Just wrote, no, what the fuck? We get, we get a bot? Wow, we got Quick to follow maths. a bot. Very good. Quick maths, indeed. A trap, trap, trap on the phone. Moving that cornflakes. Rice crispy. Oh, tap a girl, Whitney. What the government is trying to hide from you is quick maths. Intriguing. But highly disturbing. What have you got, Chris? CF2. No idea. I've ruined your thread immediately. Very sorry. Oh, I used I used a white pen. I used a white pen. Cause I thought the screen was black, so it wouldn't matter. I completely fucked it up. I completely fucked it up. You gotta fuck it up. You gotta fuck it up. You gotta fuck it up. Come. <laughs> Fuck off. Why is that where your mind goes? No. Yeah, exactly. Well written, Fanzy. Well written. Nails under houses. <laughs> Why did Elian try and make a company out of it? That is a surprisingly accurate drawing of Nails Under Houses. Fortnite Chapter 3. <laughs> what? How the fuck have you got Fortnite Chapter 3 out of that? The Rock. Fuck. Fucks, to be honest. Fuck chapter two, to be honest. Okay, the fuck. Rock says fuck Caesar, T -H -H. Yeah, I did wonder what it was saying, honestly. The Rock, the rock says, it's about drive, it's about power. We stay hungry, we fuck. Visa sign, what have you got for O-S-D-H. O-S-D-H. O -S -D -H. What does that mean? Yep, no idea. So what did I say in response? The reason I refused to 100% Batman Arkham Knight. I went to try and do it and realized very quickly I wasn't going to, so I gave up. Yep, Ezra knew! Ezra knew! Ezra fucking knew! He used a white pen! He used a white pen! Red Archer Live! He used a white pen! Riddle a trophy. Yep, yep, we're staying on we're staying on theme here. I like it. There goes the theme. There goes the fucking theme. The meaning of life. The meaning of life is Here we go, speedrunner. It's all on you. 
The fuck is that? A green box. The meaning of life, ladies and gentlemen, is a green box. Now you know. So, OSDH, the meaning of life is a green box. I'm learning so much on stream today. I really appreciate it, guys. I really appreciate it. Green one is problem. Right. So, that's the thing. When I did the glue thing, the understock, I swear I was using a black pen. I think it's glitched a couple of times and not saved the drawing. Something's not right there. Mentally unwell. This is a bit dark. Ral after who's there. What? Are you trying to say that after who's there, I'm mentally unwell? Oh, like after editing it and staying till 5am in the morning, staying up? Yeah. Honestly, valid. Because fuck me. Crispy Pro should like pay me to edit that. I should charge him. I should charge him for it and be like, yo, I do all the editing here. You should you should pay me many Australian bucks. And he could twist me. I could say I want £10. He could pay me like 10 Australian bucks. He only gave me a fiver. Done. Because Australian money means nothing, mate. Australian money. It's worth oh, it's worth the after a math. The after a math. Ral after math. There is nothing left. You ready for this, ladies and gentlemen? Wow, this is totally me. It was meant to say totally me when I'm sad, but you know what? That also kind of works. Haha, <laughs> relatable, right, guys? What what um what a miss up What a what? What a miss up Yeah, no, Vito, I just tell me what you're trying to type there. I haven't got a friggin' clue. What, what are you trying to say, Vito? I don't know. What are, you, what, are you, what are you trying to write? What are you trying to write there? I'm confused. Oh, what am I supposed to do? Gotcha. Gotcha. Tess. Sounds about right. Yeah, I have no idea either. What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? You you eat, drinking a fridge milkshake hands-free? What is that? Or, wait, are you wagging your tongue? What is that? Smoking addiction. Oh, smoking addiction. Intriguing. So, if you're mentally unwell, you have a smoking addiction. Or having a smoking addiction leads to being mentally unwell. That's what that thread is supposed to, in to insinuate. Do you agree, chat? Leave a comment down below. This is all satirical. Please do not comment on it as if it is fact. Thank you very much. I meant to say Taskmaster's writing. Oh, because it was really on... Bruh. Bruh. When the imposter sussy. I don't want to click on this. I don't want to see what you've drawn. Okay. Nonce. <laughs> oh my god, catch it! <laughs> that was so blunt! That was so fucking blunt! Just random smiley face, Ezra. Nonce. Just like, what the fuck? It probably is. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, my back is uncomfortable right now at this angle. I'm just going to sit here for the rest of the round to try and process the pain. Elian Williams greater than. And then there's a red, a red bot. Speedrunner really gave up. Okay, clearly this person just gave up LMFAO. Yep. And you're... Crying with one stream of tears going towards your penis. Interesting. Man cries because D's nuts. Yeah, a man cries because D's not. D's nuts, you know? So when the imposter sussy, a man cries because D's nuts. Crazy. All right, Taskmaster, Troy what have you Getty. got? Troy Getty. Getty what? Getty bitches? Oh, like spaghetti. Oh, right. Okay, whatever. Hell, I agree. Troy holding up a plate of lasagna. Lasagna? Why did, they get, like, why did they pronounce it like that? Troy holding up a plate of lasagna. You work as a console at that angle, you aren't a true gamer. Who the fuck plays at this angle comfortably? I'm doing this for a bit, I don't enjoy it. Troy with floating eyes with a sign that says lasagna. Do you know what it reminds me of, right? Hang on, I need to sit up. My fucking back is giving me it because I'm an old man. Oh, fuck. Do you know what it reminds me of? Who played Rayman Raving Rabbids with that one mini game where you had the bunny and it spun round and the lights went out and you had to place the ears, the eyes and the, the mouth and stuff in the right place while the lights were out? Because that game fucking irritated me for a very long time as a kid. And that's what that reminds me of. It's like you stuck the hair in the eyes at the wrong place while the lights were off. 
Please tell me at least one person remembers that from Rayman Ray Raving Rabbids. Rayman Raving Rabbids. Please tell me someone remembers that. Because that's what I see when I see those eyes in the wrong place. Floating eyes with Sansa's lasagna on it. Yeah, well done, Elian. Well done. Joy eats lasagna. I do. I do eat it. I fucking hated that too, honestly. I hon honestly, Tony. Yeah, lasagna. I actually wasn't a bad drawing. I have no arms or anything like that. Wow, the eyes and the mouth stayed within. I'm surprised. Logna. Logna? What the fuck is Logna? Troy Getty, that Logna. Crazy. Crazy. Do you know what, chat? I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question real quick. Would you like... Here's, here's the options. We can either A, keep playing Gartic Phone, or B, we could spend the second half of the stream trying out Trivial Pursuit 2 with live chat interaction. Because I kind of want to give that a try. Now I've said it, I'm in my head. I'm like, you know what? I kind of want to try that. How, what do we think, chat? What, do we want to trial it? Because I kind of want to trial it. It might be, might be fun. What do we think? What do we think? I kind of want to give it a whirl. Let me know. Poll? Could do a poll. I'm kind of thinking it might be fun to try out. And it also is good that way because it's not its own stream. So if it doesn't work very well, then we didn't waste a whole stream trying to get it to work. Unless I could do it on console Twitch. I, could, I don't know. You could do it on... It's, it's, no, you like. I think you just play along on Twitch, right? I don't quite know how it works, but I can set it up and, and work it out. Um, Gartic Phone or Trivial Pursuit versus the chat. Or versus chat. Place your votes. I think we'll do Trivial Pursuit, but let me know what you think. I think it could be fun. It mixes it up and does something a bit different, you know? I kind of want to mix it up. Let's see what you all think. Let's see what you all think. Because it's still it's still a game with chat, and I think it'd be good fun. Nice way of mixing it up, doing something a bit different. Let me know what you all think. The idea is that you basically I'm going to fight against the chat, but you will all also have like individual scores, and it'll say, like, here's the highest scoring Twitch viewer. I've got, all I have to do is work out how to set it up, but I should be able to do that relatively easily. I'll just fire my monitor on and just chat to you while I'm setting it up. Okay, the pole is swinging towards Trivial Pursuit. So I think we're going to do that. I'll rope my Xbox just in the meantime, and I'll, I need to plug a cable in. Because I have the wrong cable plugged in, ladies and gents. Woo! My head's going under the desk now while I rewire cables. I can't find the hole. Don't make that weird. Okay. It should be plugged in now. Oh. Right, so if I was to uh, bring up my games and apps now, if I was to hide Trivial Pursuit, if I hide Gartic Phone, yes, cool, it's got my capture up, good. Okay, so just while just while we're doing this, let me get it set up and just see how it works. Because I don't 100% know how to set it up, so don't don't worry yet. We might still play Gartic if I can't get this working, because I've not actually checked into it how to do it. But it should be relatively easy, so just sit tight for a second, chat. Anyone got any funny stories they want to tell or questions they want to ask me or some shit? I don't know. Whatever you've got, throw it at me now. Now's the time. We will do more uh, Gartic Phone, by the way. Don't worry. We'll do more streams. But it's actually quite nice. And I kind of felt after two games, like, you know, that's enough for maybe a little bit. But obviously, it's going to be ironic if we end up having to go back to Gartic in a minute. I won't mind, but let's just see. Let's see. I, wanna, I, I like doing quiz games. I find them very fun. It's, it's the closest thing we can get to playing fucking Jackbox. Because it's still not on Game Pass. Right, let's see. Oh, tune! Okay. Connect to Twitch. Please enter your Twitch profile name. Okay, let's see how easy this is to set up. I have no idea. It might be I need to add an extension on Twitch. And if I haven't, if I need to do that and I haven't done it, I'm going to have a problem. Right, it's checking connection to the Twitch account. Let's find out, ladies and gents. It reckons it's creating the session. This could this could be working. Okay, so how does this work? Wait, what? It just knows? How the fuck does it just know? 
It just knows how many of you are here. What the fuck? Hang on a minute. Look at that. You're just there. You're just fucking there. 24 viewers. How did I don't I don't like this. I don't like this. How the fuck? I don't know how you answer questions, though. Like, is there something I need to do to set up the, the, the question answering? I don't know. I don't have a fucking clue. Let me update the stream info first real quick. Uh, stream information. We're playing Trivial Pursuit 2. And I'll at, I'll at people as well so that people can join in. I'll do a Discord plug real quick. If it knows we're here, I imagine we just scream the answer at the screen. Something's got a bit work here. I'm just going to Google it real quick. Trivial Pursuit 2 Live Twitch. I just need to check and make sure there's nothing I'm missing here. Like, how does it work? Is there, like, anything I need to know just before we start this? Just looking it up quick. Uh... Oh, type a number into the chat to play. Oh, so what will happen is, ladies and gents, there'll be numbers assigned to the answers, and you put the number in that you think is the correct answer in the chat, and it will apparently detect it in the chat and put it in the game. So it doesn't even need a fucking extension? Ladies and gents, this is the future. This is the future. I am scared. I like, like, Life is Strange True Colors, the chat choice thing, needed a plug-in. The fact that this doesn't is scary. Is anyone else, like, kind of creeped out by that in, like, a weird good way? Because I'm creeped out by that. Anyway. Trivial Pursuit Live versus the chat now at everyone. Boom. Just get people to slide in on that. Cool. So the Discord now knows. Reading public Twitch info so it doesn't need to log in. Yeah, but that's crazy. Future. Future. All right, ladies and gents. Well. Let's play some more fucking Trivial Pursuit. I'm excited. I'm actually really excited because I've been enjoying playing this a lot. Playing it against the chat could be a fucking fun time. I'm vibing. Let's do this. All right, so uh, I can randomize what you all look like. Anyone got an, a, a preference for appearance? What I make you guys look like? You know, what, what do I do here? Um, yeah, there you go. You cook up some banter in my chat so you, can be, you, can, you all can be a chef. There you go. You can, all, you can all be a chef. You can come up with a collective name for me if you want, chat. All right, let's do this. So, can I just start the game? Yeah, presume we're just good to go. All right, cool. Let's have some fun. This beat is sick. Oh, is my mouse charged? My mouse is charged. If I need to turn the volume up, let me know, but I don't think I should. All right, ladies and gents. The rules will be explained to you as we go along, because there'll be different rounds. Player one. Player two. Wait, what? Oh, is there fucking AI? Player three. Oh, bollocks. Hang on. I need to I need to reset it. For fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. Ah. Oh. I didn't realize that fucking AI players are joined. You need to get rid of them. We don't want AI players in here. That's shit. Won't take a second to fix. Stupid, though. Very stupid. Right. Ready. Remove AI. There we go. Good. I'm, I, I keep not noticing that when I go to start a match. It's stupid. I want it to be literally me versus the chat. I don't want anyone else involved here. All right. Oh, bollocks. That's me, Mr. Doperoni. Mr. Oh, bollocks, man. All right. Well, I don't need to. We don't see this again. All right. Here we go. All right. Basically, you just want to get the question right, ladies and gents. Time to check out what this round is all about. As always, correct answers score you points. Okay, so there'll be four options to each question. You've got to write down what the right answer is. Each question is worth more than the last. Okay. That's all you need to know. All right. I thought we had to get it wrong. Shut up, Elian. I like how this game's giving me a live view count as well. Fucking hell. Let's make history. So, ladies and gents, you type your number in the chat as to what you think is the right answer. Ah. 
You don't have long to do it, so you're going to need to, to answer quickly, ladies and gents. Look at those answers filling the screen. That's so wild. That's so fucking wild how that works. Wow. Most of the chat got it wrong. So you don't... So that's... So it will remember your individual answers, but as a chat, you will need to... The, whoever gets plate puts the most... Like, whichever is the most selected is the answer that it will go with for the chat. So most of you got it wrong. Therefore, viewers got it wrong that time. But it will remember that you got it right because it'll say like here the top performing ones, top performing people. I haven't got a fucking clue. I actually haven't got a fucking clue. I didn't even know it had a name. Phone Elon. Yeah, Elon would know this now, wouldn't he? Fucking hell. I'm torn between two answers. It's either fucking Tweety or Larry. Let's go! <gasps> Fuck's sake. I was like, surely it can't be Tweety. It's not Boaty McBoatface, is it? Friggin' hell. Move the mic up a little bit. Oh, jeez. I've got a fucking clue. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. I'm saying that like I know. I haven't got a fucking clue. Oh shit, literally everyone is going for four. Oh no. Oh, I, I went for three. I went for Channel Islands. Oh, I was going to fucking say I love man to begin with. Who said two? And dude was the only one who got it right. Well done, and dude. Ooh. Ah, th these are challenging questions to start the game off. Like, fucking hell. I think everyone's agreeing on three. Nice. Well done, everyone. And that's the viewers off the podium. That's the first collective tw Twitch viewers answer right. Oh, that's correct. Very good. Very well done. Final question of the round. Okay. Wow, the rounds are even shorter. Select a category, ladies and gents. Art and literature or entertainment. Please pick entertainment, I beg of you. Entertainment's my favorite fucking category. Tony knows this. Yes! Everyone's going for entertainment, you sexy bastards. My favorite fucking category. I love this shit. This is dope. This, this tells me you can stream this in the future. This is running so smoothly. I'm very happy. Which captain to start? Oh, fuck. Oh, right. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know this. It's one of the only fucking things I know about Star Trek. Oh, my fuck. Most of you have got it completely wrong. Shit. Wow. Wow. Elliot, I think, is the only one who knew that. Yeah, Patrick Stewart, come on. I thought, I thought, that. well, then again, you don't know Star Trek, which I fucking don't. I only really know it because of the fucking Fuck Yeah Doc 2 podcast that I listened to because they talked about it at one point, so I looked it up. It came and recommended or something, and I knew it was, it was Patrick Stewart. No, Spock was someone completely different. All right, ladies and gents. You're losing. Come on, ladies and gents. Come on. Oh, there we go. Top Twitch viewers. Who got the most answers right? So everyone got, so nine of you got 400 points. And look at them sliding Chris on there with zero. Awkward. <laughs> Alright, what's the next one? Oh, okay. How is this going to work with viewers? Yeah, like whoever's fastest gets it right. Oh no, this is in the Blitz one, so it's it's based on how many points you have. I'm interested how this is going to work with viewers, though. There's a lot of people playing alongside me here, more than three. In cursor -based rounds, move the cursor yes, I know how to play with a fucking cursor. I don't know why you keep telling me this. And to start us off, player two picks the category. All right, pick the category, ladies and gents. Ah. Uh, 
I reckon what it'll probably do is it'll give you the five options. You'll lot, you lot will get first choice of the answers because you have less points than me. What it'll probably do is you'll have to vote for it again and it'll pick whichever answer you most commonly vote for. I'm guessing it'll work the same way. All right, a history question. Oh, fucking hell. I have absolutely no idea. So you lot have got to type a number in the chat quickly between one and five. Quickly, folks. Now's the time. Right, so you've taken Kim Jong-un off of me. Um, or as an answer, sorry. Whereas I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for Vanessa San Marina. Let's see. Let's go! King shit! So you lot picked the second best answer and I picked the best answer. Crazy. Three correct answers in a row for me. Very epic. Which of these aquarium fish has the longest lifespan? So again, you lot have to pick, so get it done quick. Which of these aquarium fish has the longest lifespan? You've all got to be ready to vote quickly in this. I'm actually not sure myself, to be honest. I'm going to go for... I'm torn between turquoise killfish and better fish. I'm going to go with, with turquoise killfish. Oh, it was goldfish! Goldfish can live for up to 40 years. Are you kidding me? Bloody hell! I did not fucking know that. Which of these male tennis players has won the most matches as of 2020? Oh, fuck. Well, I'm torn between two. I know I know which two I'm torn between. Let's see what which what, which ones you lot go for. Right, well then that I've got to go for Federer. I would have gone for Nadal or Federer. I was torn between the two. Never mind, Jimmy Connors. Blimey. Rafael Nadal won nine 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 matches. Blimey. I'm in the lead with three wedges. You need to get six wedges and you get like wedges for scoring points as it goes along. Oh, which of these rap artists has the most Grammy wins as of 2020? Fuck. Um I actually don't I haven't got a clue. I have not got a clue. You're all going for fucking Kanye, aren't you? Because of fucking Donda. Donda has to have the good answer for you lot. I'm going to go for Kendrick. I'm going to back Kendrick. Probably Eminem though, isn't it? No. Jay-Z. Wow. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Last question of the round. Here we go, ladies and gents. Right. Number one and number two in chat for which category you lot want. Yeah, for anyone who's joining who's not been watching the stream so far, you need to use the numbers that are on screen, type them into chat to interact and play along with the game. Why are you all going geography? Ew, disgusting. You make me fucking vomit. Blech. Blech. Which of these US states is the smallest by area? Shit. I I think I'm I think I know the answer to this, but I don't I'm not Fuck, literally everyone's going for the one I was thinking. Fuck. No, I was gonna go for fucking Rhode Island. Fuck off. I'm annoyed now. Um New Hampshire. No idea. <laughs> I went for the worst answer! Shit! Have you lot taken the lead? You lot just swiped the lead from me there! Shit! Damn, alright. Alright, alright. I see how it is, motherfuckers. I see how it is. Oh, look, it's Dominic. Hello, Dominic. How are you doing, King? Well, so we're actually, like, I'm not just saying this. We're actually tied. Look at that. Chris comes out on top this time for points. Look at that. 
Very nice. Chris sweep. So actually now we're basically tied. It's based off of wedges. So it needs to be the first peop people to get to six wedges. The way it works now is each round will give you a wedge if you win it. It's going to be it's going to ask you five questions in a row about two answers. And you have to chain all the answers correctly. It's kind of like the weakest link. If you get one wrong, it'll break you. It'll break the chain for you and you're screwed. The only way to stay in then is if the other person also gets it wrong. You'll see as it goes along. It sounds stupid me explaining. Once we play, you'll get it. Okay. So it'll give you two options. And it'll ask you five questions. And for each one, you pick which one of the options it belongs to. Okay. So this for this round, those are your two options. And it gives you five questions. So here's your first question. Pick which one you think fits, fits with it. And I think I know this. I think I actually know this. I think I learned it in school years ago. I hope I've got it right. I really hope I've got it right. Wow, look at the live chat. Everyone going for the, the right answer. I'm thinking it's the right answer anyway. Look at that. Oh, well, Peck. Peck didn't quite. Whoops. <laughs> nearly everyone. Nearly everyone. It's one of the brightest comets of the 20th century. I think it kind of has to be. Oh, everyone jumped ship. I'm sticking with Haley's Comet. I think it's still Haley. Shit. Right, so I got it wrong and you got it right. Therefore, the round is over and you lock off the wedge. So now you're in the proper lead. That's how that works. See what I mean? Now, here's the top viewers now. Who's, top, who's on top? It's still Chris. Chris is still the top player. All right. Defeated the goals in 51 BC. Um, it can't be you. It can't be. So it has to be the other. It has to be. Right? It's got to be Alexander the Great. Julius Caesar wasn't knocking about. Well, shit. We all got it wrong. Therefore, we get to continue. Died at age th Fuck, I don't know this. I haven't got a bloody clue. I haven't got a bloody clue. Sorry. Yes! Oh, <laughs> beautiful. Right, so the viewers got that one wrong. I got it right. Therefore, that round's over. I get the wedge. I think, I hope you're picking up how it works by now. If you didn't already know how it worked. So now we're tied again. Four wedges apiece. And Chris is still in the lead with 6,800 points. Oh, sports and leisure. Please be. Oh, for oh it's about tennis. Shit. Oh, no. I know some of the answers about tennis. I used to follow tennis a little bit when I was younger. But I don't, I don't think I know the answer to this one. I'm completely torn. I haven't got a frigging clue. I haven't got a frigging clue. Oh, we've both gone with Serena. And we were all right. Cool. All right, all right, all right. Oh, now this, this one I know. This one I do know. This one I do know. That's good. They also have a father who was played by a man who wanted people to keep his wife's name out of their fucking mouth. It's really heating up. Cool, cool. Ooh. I've got to be careful not to say as I'm putting the answer in. Like, I keep wanting to say, I'm going to go for this. Because it's like when we play Millionaire and I have to say what the answer is I'm thinking. I'm trying not to say that in a minute. I've got to back. I've got to back who I think it is. It has to be. It's got to be Federer. It's got to be Federer. Surely. Let's keep going. Wow. Fair play, Serena. I kind of... It kind of has... Surely not. I 
I'm going Serena again. Is this fucking hashtag Serena Williams sweep? It's like fucking Morbius. Uh, it was Federer. I was going to say, for, her to, for four of the answers to a bit about her in a row would have been a bit rare, but... I was born in... Oh, shit. I haven't seen King Richard, so it, they, she could have been and I might not know. Oh, it has to be. Right? Surely. So in the event now that we all get this right, the chain of questions will be over. We'll both get a wedge. Myself and the viewers will all get a wedge. Well, there we go. So we're all getting a wedge, whether it's right or wrong. But we were right. Okay, fair. So, ladies and gentlemen, it literally comes down to the final round. And we can tie. And if we tie, you lot will win because you have slightly more points. So, I've got to, I've got to snatch this win out of your hands now. And it's my favorite category. So, I'm, I'm tense. I'm tense. And Tony's the top user now as, as well, I saw. I haven't got a fucking clue. I haven't got a fucking clue. I don't know. I really don't know the answer to this. I don't have a fucking clue. No idea. In my head, I'm thinking it's a more modern show, hence more modern artists. So I've gone Cardi B. Okay, good. Good. Some good logic there. I know this. I know this. Good. Good. I know this one. Who's actually a fan of either Nicki Minaj or Cardi B? Who's who's a fan of their music? I I literally have not listened to almost anything of Cardi B's. So the only thing I liked of hers that I probably listened to was the one when she was in Finesse with Bruno Mars. Nicki Minaj, she had a couple of good songs I, I liked. She did one with David Guetta that I really liked when I was younger. I can't remember the name of it. It wasn't Hey Mama, because I did like that one, but that was after it was before Hey Mama. I think it was called Turn Me On. That was a tune. That was a fucking tune. I like that one a lot. Make me come alive, come on and turn me on. It was a tune. It was a, it was a tune. It was a tune. The big music video was weird, though. Yeah, well, I like how we're all on a similar plane of thinking for this one. Everyone said Nicki Minaj for that. It has to be. Cardi B wasn't really knocking about, like, big in the music scene in 2016, was she? I mean... It can't be. It ha it has to. I don't know. Well, I'm girls. No, it's not, it's not like I said. It's called Turn Me On. It, that's the one I'm thinking of. It was called Turn Me On. Turn Me On. Oh, shit. Ladies and gentlemen, we're splitting up. This is it. I've got Nikki. You've got Cardi. Who's going to win the match? Let's go. I beat my entire Twitch chat. <laughs> fucking let's go. And, and over an artist I don't fucking listen to. Oh, that's embarrassing, that, lads. That's embarrassing. I think I, I've tried to grab a screenshot. I've tried to grab a screenshot. Let's see if it, if it if it popped up. Did I grab it? I wanted to see the leaderboard right at the very end. No, I missed it. Who was top of the leaderboard? Oh, there we go. Our top viewer was Fanzy with 12,000 points. Followed by Chris in second place with 11,800. CM Turbo in third with 11,600. Uh, 11,600 again speedrunner, which means they're both tied third, which puts Tony in fifth at 11,200. And Elian in sixth place at dead on 10k. Rematch, ladies and gents. Rematch. I think we do that again. That was fucking fun. I like that a lot. I really enjoyed that. That was fun. Let's do this. Shouldn't I bet, like, you know, if, if, I, if I win, you give me subs. If, if I win, I gift you subs. If you win, I gift you subs. But I didn't do that. That was very silly. Right. Oh, there you go. You're all clowns. That'll do. My artist. Boom. Clown. Clown circus. Let's go. Let's go. Stepping down from my carry roll. You're going to try. <laughs> Listen to you, fucking cool dude. Oof. He thinks he's all cool, ladies and gents. All right. Oh, there we go. Thank you, CM Turbo. And I will feed you to my children. I am kidding. We are vegetarians. I'm kidding. We are vegetarians. Thank you very much for the resub for eight months with Prime King. Appreciate that a lot. If anyone else wants to subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. Help keep the lights on. Thank you. New Ralvid Troy versus Ral. <laughs> Bruh.
What? I'm fighting myself? That's a bit strange. All right. Correct answers to questions score you points, and points earn wedges. We'll just play this again for anyone who needs to see it. I actually think I skipped this Baxton. Collecting wedges like more fucking infinity stones. Round one. It's quick starter. Gonna get Amazon Prime soon. You're getting all those subs. Thank you, King. That's lovely. As always, correct answers score you points. Right, so you've seen this round already. You know how this one works. You just put the number in that you see on screen that matches the answer you want to go for. I think quick start is always a starting round in Trivial Pursuit. And it's the second round that mixes up. Let's make history. Ooh, Okay. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. It's interesting that the game records are 24 viewers, but my OBS records is about 15. Maybe OBS is inaccurate and the game is. I'd like to back the game. Oh, what? Hannibal? Really? Wow, okay. Remember, ladies and gents, you have to answer quickly. I'm seeing a few of you are a bit slow on the uptake with the answer. You've got to be quick. If the stream delay is not helping, then obviously you can't help that. Try and pause and hit play again on the stream to catch up a bit. Um, ooh. The normal resting heart rate for adults. That's that's a, a tough question, especially with the overlap in the answers there. That's challenging. I have no idea on this one. It's probably 50 to 80, isn't it? Oh, we all got it right. Look at that. Very cool. Well done, ladies and gents. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. <laughs> All right. Entertainment. Hello. Oh, please per come up who I want. Oh, I don't know. I know two that definitely did. Oh, my mum's going to kill me if I get this wrong. Shit, I really, I really hope I've not got this wrong. I love Tim Burton. Please tell me I'm right. Fuck, how have I got that wrong? Fuck, I'm actually embarrassed at that. I fucking love Tim Burton. How did I fuck that? I thought maybe he played like some background character in Nightmare Before Christmas or something. Shit. Oh, I know this. Let's see who knows this. Sonics have 14 lines, octaves have 8, stanzas I believe have 4, and haikus have 3. English knowledge. Got way too much of it. <laughs> Goes to Tsushima for the win. Really? Huh. I just knew it anyway. I don't know. I think I knew it because of Cards Against Humanity, because it was a blank card that was like, make a haiku and you needed to give 3 answers. Alright, viewers, select a category. Sports and leisure or geography? What are we going for, folks? Remember, you got to be quick. Throw that number in nice and quick. Don't think too much. Just click it. Don't think too much. Just rust that thing. I want to take a... Okay, you get the point. Landmarks and customs, cultures and places. It's geography. Oh. Which of these countries does not span more than one continent? Is it bad that I think that's obvious? I kind of feel like it has to be this one. Surely, right? It's got to be. It's got to be Egypt. It's just in Africa, right? We've got a rivalry forming here. Great round. Well... Um, whoops. Top viewers, what have we got? Why have we only got five there now? Where have you all disappeared to, folks? Come on. Uh, Matt Elian on top with 600. 
Well done, Elian. See if you can keep it up. Elian Sweeu. What's a Sweeu? Alright, round two. Why is it that she's giving us the same fucking rounds every time? Bruh. So I think we're tied. So I think it, I don't know who will get who will get first pick of the answers this time. We'll see. Yeah, it could be it could be the viewers or it could be me. We'll soon find out. Who gets first pick? Me? Right, I get first pick. So I pick the first answer. Then you lot decide out of the four that are left over. I'm gonna go out to literature. These dystopian novels was published earliest. Oh shit. I kinda have to for the meme. I think I I don't I'm not sure if it is 1984, but I, I have to go for it. Don't take it from us. Right, ladies and gentlemen, you gotta vote quick. Vote quick. Yeah, I, I I agree. I agree. I think it's either Fahrenheit 451 or it's 1984. I think it's one of those two. Oh, wow. It's Brave New World. Okay. Fair enough. Didn't know. Didn't know. This is just like George Orwell's uh, book, 1984. Which of the Right, you get first pick this time, ladies and gents. Which of these countries has the most Spanish language speakers? Argentina, Mexico, Colombia, Peru, or Spain? You gotta put place your answers quickly. Quick, 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 quick. I'm gonna go with Ooh, I don't know. It could be... I'm going to say Argentina. Latin American and all that, I think. I was going to fucking say Mexico as well. Oh, I was torn between Mexico and Argentina. Fuck. Bollocks. Which of these films starring Vin Diesel came out most recently? Uh, So I get first shot again this time, ladies and gents. So you guys will get pick after this. And I think I know the answer. Because this one released right as COVID was kicking off. Bloodshot. Alright, now you got to vote, everyone. I wouldn't know which one would come after that. Yeah, probably XXX. Yeah, there we go. Cool, all right. So I was right on that one. That's good. Yeah, Bloodshot was COVID and then, yeah, Return of Xander Cage was a few years prior. I remember seeing the trailers for that. Oh, I got an achievement. Six seasons in a movie. And to 13 questions correctly in the entertainment category. Of course. Which of these NHL teams has the most followers on Facebook? Why would I fucking know this? Got to be the Canucks. That's the one that I know. How many mother and all that? It's got to be. Gotta be. Alright, you lot, what are you all gonna say? <laughs> Panthers you gone for, let's see. <laughs> Rip. Florida Panthers out here on 200k. Yikes. All right, so I get first pick again. You lot get second pick. Remember to pick almost as soon as... You get ready to type the number and put it in as soon as you're ready to answer. Okay, unless I put that number in. Oh, you lot get to pick a category first, then. Oh, wait, no, actually, I think you lot are playing first. Never mind, I think you lot are playing first. Hmm. History. History it is. All right. Let's see what's going to happen here. Which of these periods of ancient Roman history happened first? All right, you lot, place your votes. Which ones are going to be? Which period of ancient Roman history happened first?
You've gone for the Dominate. I'm torn between the Principate, like the Principal, the First, or the Early Roman Republic. I'm going to go for the Principate. Fuck, really? Damn. Roman kings came first. Fair enough. Shows you I don't know enough about my Roman history. Oh, come on, you lot. I got three wedges. You've got two. So we're going into round three this time with me having a definitive lead. But you can catch up. Chris is in first place. Very cool. In hindsight, that's obvious. Is it, though? I don't know. All right. Final round, ladies and gentlemen. So, same thing as last time. Let's see how we do. Let's do it. The final face-off between Red Archer Live and Twitch chat. Oh, shit. Oh, I know both these books. Oh, I really hope I don't get this wrong. Right, so you've all got to vote alongside me now. Remember, people, get ready to answer quickly. You've got to answer quickly. Oh, Eddie's here. Hello, Eddie. He's just joined and quickly got the idea of what's happening here. Yep, very hungry caterpillar. Who's that 20% that doesn't know that oh, caterpillars turn into butterflies? Come on, damn it. Oh, now this I don't know. This I haven't got a fucking clue. I I actually don't know this at all. I'm going with my brain and thinking that one is possibly more modern. And that's why I've gone for the other one. We're in agreement. Okay. Is it the Gruffalo though? It wasn't. Wow. Well, we both got it wrong, so we all stay in. Main character eats a chocolate cake, an ice cream cone, and a pickle. Gotta be, right? Gotta be. It's gotta be, at it? It's gotta be. A lot of people saying the Gruffalo. I'm concerned now. I was going to say, yeah. Yeah, the owl saw the mouse and the mouse looked good and all this. Yeah, the Gruffalo doesn't like... Yeah, he doesn't really eat much in it. Yeah, he visits animals. Come on, folks. God. Chris is on top of the leaderboard once again. Alright. Oh, caterpillar. It's a caterpillar just eats a load of shit and becomes fat. That's the idea. The Adriatic Sea... What the fuck? Which one? The, mar the marginal sea of the Indian Ocean or the Mediterranean? Fucking, I don't even know what that means. I guess it means like on the edge of it, marginal on the margin. I don't know. I don't know my geography, bro. It's got to be. Adriatic sounds Mediterranean to me. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Arabian Sea. Arabian nights like Arabian days. It could be either one of these answers. I just do not know. Ah. I'm playing tactically. I could see what you lot are going for. And I'm going to agree with you because I don't actually know. Probably shouldn't do that, but I genuinely haven't got a frigging clue. I think I would have gone for Indian though because Arabian, India, uh, yeah. I was thinking in my head, I was like, Mediterranean is kind of the top of Africa a little bit, but I was like, is that going to make a difference? No, no, it's Indian. Right, so Andaman C. This I don't know. I'm not going to look at what you all say this time. I'm going to just try and like. I probably, I've probably fucked it. I've probably fucked it. Oh, shit. Let's go. Let's go. Very epic. Who's on top? Chris maintains that lead. Prove your mastery of movie, television, and music. It's oh, fucking hell. Right, let's have a fun time. So I'm on match point now. If I win this, I've won the whole game. 
So y'all, y'all gotta, y'all gotta, you gotta, gotta stop me now. Come on. Let's hope my DC knowledge is up to snuff. Yeah, birds of prey, Gotham. Yeah. I'm hoping my knowledge of Gotham will help me for the ones I don't know about Metropolis. Oh, I thought he lived in Connecticut, guys. What? That's crazy. I thought he lived in Connecticut. If even one person gets this wrong. I'm watching you fuckers like a hawk. <laughs> if even one person puts the number fucking two. Fancy! I, want, I can't say I want a hard question because to some of the people this might not be easy. But to me, this is like I could fucking do this with my eyes closed. Jeez. Come on, gamers. You all know this. Hopefully. You might not know it. I don't know. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to pause for a second. Uh, if I can do that, I can. I've just seen an article, and I just thought it would be funny to share it, because this is... Uh, apparently, Sega saw Rockstar Games. Wait, what? Oh, the question... Oh, it's ending. Shit, we gotta keep playing. I thought I could, thought I could pause it, but I can't. Shit, you gotta, you gotta vote, folks. Sorry. I'm very sorry. I thought I could pause it, but I heard the clock ticking and went, hang on a minute. Doesn't matter, because we all got it right. It's fine. My bad. My bad, folks. Let's finish the game, and then I'll read the article out. All right, I've got to get this one wrong, and you've got to get this right for me to, to for me to not win. Unfortunately, though, I know the answer to this, so I apologize, gamers. This is probably the easiest round of Trivial Pursuit I've seen in a while. <clears throat> Thank you all for listening. Thank you all for watching. Appreciate it. And good night. Let's go. Epic. And coming out on top this time, ladies and gentlemen, was Chris in first place. Very well done, Chris. Very well done. Right. Would you all like to play one more game or should we wrap it up there? Let me know. Our top viewers this time, let's find out, were... Speedrunner in training in 6th place with 6,200. Eddie in 5th place with 8,000. CM Turbo in 4th place with 8,200. Elian in 3rd place with 8,600. Tony in 2nd place with 8,800. And on the top, Chris in 1st place with 9,800. Well done, Chris. We can end now. I think we do one more match. What do you all think? One more game? Should we do one more? Let's do one more. Let's do one more. We'll do one more and see if you can beat me. I'll challenge you once more for my crown. You got a gam? Oh, Chris. Imagine leaving in the middle of the game. What the frick? All right. Uh, I'm going to make you look like... This is you now. You're in a race to get ahead of me. Come on. Give you a lot of chance. <laughs> Bruh. All right. Let's go. So, the article... Sega apparently saw Rockstar Games releasing the GTA Trilogy, Trilogy Definitive Edition and went, You know what? We should do that as well. Sega plans to delist several classic Sonic re-releases due to their presence in the upcoming Sonic Origins. In other words, you won't be able to buy the original versions of those Sonic games on modern platforms once Sonic Origins comes out, if not sooner. Um, no, 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 it's, it's sooner than that. So, Sonic Origins releases on June 23rd. Sega has specifically named this collection as the reason why the four Sonic games, that's Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic I CD, and Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Oh, even made of uh, Eddie with the uh, the 60 months. Thank you very much. That's very epic. Is that with uh, Prime? or Oh, it's a tier 2. <gasps> Ikea. S. Thank you very yeah, much, Eddie. Sonic. Sexy bastard. Appreciate it a lot. So those games, the more modern re-releases, will not be available on most digital storefronts after 20th of May. So you've got just under a month to get them if you want to. Um, there are a couple of exceptions the press release explains. Sonic the Hedgehog 1 and 2 will remain available via Sega Ages on the Nintendo Switch. And Sonic the Hedgehog 2 will still be playable via Sega Genesis on Nintendo Switch Online. Fucking hell. Uh, 
I can't believe, like, who, who, who the fuck saw what Rockstar did with the GTA trilogy and went, you know what, we should do that too. Fucking hell. Oh, I don't, I don't understand it. I don't get why you do this. But yeah, so I thought I'd just share that because I knew everyone would find it funny. Fucking, I, do, I really do wonder. I really do fucking wonder, ladies and gents. Like, yeah, what is Sega doing over there? Just release Sonic Mania 2 and nobody will complain. Like, for fuck's sake. Oh, You didn't see Mass Effect do that when they released the Legendary Edition. Honestly, fucking stupid. I don't like this culture that it's being in town with remix and, re and remasters coming out and then you're not being able to buy the old versions. I mean, granted, for me, I'll often buy the more modern versions of games. But, like, it's still a, a, a shitty thing. For Origins, I really don't know. Because I, I looked at... Ner if you, anyone watches Nerd Cubed, he did a whole, like, rant talking about what's bad about it. And I watched the rant and I was like, oh, shit, this is really bad. Maybe I shouldn't play this. i buy this. But I'll say. Depends on whether I want to get... I just don't know if there's enough to make to warrant the 35 quid price tag. It's a lot of money, you know? Right, so we all have to answer at the same time here, ladies and gents. I haven't got a clue on this one. No idea. Absolutely no fucking idea. Wow, some of you had no idea there. You got, you got to be back into it, ladies and gents. You got to answer quick. Come on. Got to be quick, ladies and gents. Wow, it gave you the win on Cic oh, Cicero. Yeah, no. Wait, hang on. Why is it said that you got the points when it says 34% said Vespa? Okay, whatever. That's cursed. <laughs> well, that's that's technically not true. That is technically not true. That is technically not true. Not actually none of those is correct. None of those answers are correct, ladies and gents. Technically. Because any connoisseur of the Shrek franchise would know that that's actually Shrek 2. If you say franchise, then fine, but Shrek 1, we don't ever go too far, far away. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Interesting. Very interesting, yes. Hobbies and food. Where's Star Wars? The, the galaxy isn't called the far, far away galaxy. It's just a galaxy that is far, far away. It has to be, right? So the one I've heard of that I'm pretty sure is not Indian cuisine. I thought it was chutney. Oh yeah, kimchi sounds like it's um, it's Japanese. Well, you lot have got a big lead there. Well done. Three correct answers in a row for the viewers. Look at that. Well done, you lot. Get better. Kimchi is Korean. Ah, okay. Okay. See, Eddie knows so much. What is the official currency of Ukraine? Um, I actually don't know. I genuinely do not know. I genuinely do not know the answer to this. So I'm going to hope that, I, that I'm going to use my, my European knowledge correctly and just go for the what I hope is the safe bet and probably isn't. Now I think about it, I don't think it is Euro. I don't know how to say that. It's one, says Fancy. Incorrect, Fancy. Give me entertainment. Oh, I'll take arts and literature. I'm fine with that. Alright. The question is, what type of literature is William Shakespeare mostly famous for writing? Dumb. It's obviously newspaper articles. My man sits there and writes all the stuff on uh, on the Daily Mail, you know? He writes loads for the Daily Mail. I don't think a single person hasn't said two yet. There we go. Wait, Fanzie, don't just pick two to for the meme of it. Is that what you've been doing this whole match? I've not properly clocked that. Pick the right answer because you might shift it in the wrong direction for everyone else. And then that's not fair. Answer it the way you think it should be. Answer the correct answer. 
Breaking news to be or not to be. That is the question, Luna. That is the question. Do 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 Yeah, Shakespeare works for Kotaku. Oh, I didn't see who was in first place. Shit. He was in first place. I missed that. Someone tell me if they saw. Right, not close call. It's close call. Time to check out what this round is I would like to remind you, Trivial Pursuit, that there are six fucking game modes. Is it just fixed to be the same game modes in three round games? Because the thing is, you can play five round games in Trivial Pursuits, and that's what I normally play. I don't know why in, for Twitch it forces you to do the three the three round game mode. A little bit sad. It feels like a little bit of a wasted opportunity. In rounds, I know. I fucking know. The category for this round is your right, so I'll get to pick first to begin with because I've got less points. I don't like either of these categories, so I'm kind of fucked in no matter which one I pick. Which of these US lakes is the largest by surface area. So remember, you lot get to pick from the answers that I leave behind. No idea. Right, so you got to pick between two and five, ladies and gents. What's the right answer, do you think? Quickly, ladies and gents. Bruh. So he just picked the better answer out of the two. That's rigged. That's so rigged. Raw. Y'all, just a suggestion, you need to, I, I would say pause and unpause the stream if you delays a bit much, because I feel like people are answering slower, or you guys just took too long. Be wary of that. Which of these NHL teams appear in the playoffs most often as of 2020? The Blackhawks. I recognise that name. I'm going to go with Blackhawks. So you all got to pick one, two, three, or five. I feel like Eddie is going to know this. If Eddie and Luna both go for the same answer, you know what to go for. Well, fuck. I am getting demolished this game. Oh my goodness. Which of these battles in the Napoleonic Wars happened first? I have no idea. I have no idea. How is this? Oh, it's history. I was going to say, how is this geography? I didn't study anything to do in Napoleon throughout school, so I honestly just I don't have a fucking clue. I do not know. Wow. Started with I was oh, wow. So the other one I was torn between was the top answer. Fuck. Which of these pop stars is the youngest? Oh shit. Oh, it's definitely Olivia Rodrigo. She's like seventeen or eighteen, isn't she? By a fucking country mile, it's Olivia Rodrigo. So you've all got to pick between the rest now. Who's the next youngest? You can't say the answer that I've picked, chat. You can't pick the answer that I've picked. <laughs> Yeah, I would go with Justin Bieber next. I'd say Justin Bieber, then Casey Perry, then Shakira, and then Madonna. Yep, I was bang on. I was bang on. Look at that. Oh, she's 19. No. Yeah, she's 19, Olivia Rodrigo. Or maybe 18. Final question. This is your chance to turn things around, player one. Yeah, I fucking need to, thanks. Answer this true again. Come on. You say I steal all the good answers, Fancy, but I'm the one in second place right now. Which of these US art museums is the smallest in terms of area? How am I going to fucking know this? I'm going to go with the Brooklyn Museum. I don't have a fucking clue. I don't know. I do not know. I haven't got a clue. Okay, so most of you are going with the Art Institute, Art Institute of Chicago. Wow. As if. San Francisco. Well, damn. All right, so you lot go into the final round with a lead. 
Damn. It's fine. I can catch up. I'll manage. I'll manage. All right. Let's see. Let's have a look at the points. Who's the two of the top viewers right now? Ezra has pretty much given up, apparently. Speedrun is on top this time. With Eddie in second and Tony in third. Okay. All right. Here we go. Final round, ladies and gents. You lot have a one-point wedge lead. So this is your chance to get the dub for the viewers. Alright, you all know how this works by now. Here we go. So we all answer at the same time once again. Oh, fuck. Isn't this, doesn't Ian Russell live in one of the Carolina states? Was it, it was, I can't remember. Extends across the coastal plain, the Panama and the Appalachian Mountains. It's got to be, right? Surely. It's got to be North Carolina. North mountains make sense. Yeah, okay. Remember, everyone, you've all got to be answering this one. You've all got to be taking part. This is the final face-off. Win it for the viewers. Come on. Columbia is its capital and largest city. I don't, I don't know this one. Everyone went South Carolina. Wow. And we were right. Logically. It has to be this one. Because if the top half of it was an inverted triangle, then it, you wouldn't have a southern state connected to it, would you? Logic comes into play. I'm very happy. The Brit knows more about American geography. Ladies and gents, be disappointed. I'm joking. Who's in top now? Oh, War Hero third and Dude second, Speedrunner first. Okay. So now we're tied. I've caused upon you lot. First side to score 11 points while leading by at least two points wins. What the fuck is pickleball? I thought it what you did when you got it stuck in the door. <laughs> Sorry, that was a really bad joke. That was a really bad joke. Fucking pickle your balls, you know? Oh, I'm so funny. I'm so funny. Well, that was a very quick round. Well done, you lot. You got the wedge. <laughs> Is it just me or is Troy's mic audio not synced properly? Probably on your end, because on my end it looks about right. And the bitrate's fine, so maybe refresh the stream. I don't know the nationalities. Could have completely fucked this one. Not gonna lie, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. Most people seem to be agreeing with me. That's good. It makes me feel much better. You can't say Troy, fancy. I never studied Genghis Khan. I haven't got a fucking clue about him. I'm glad that my instincts were right, though. I did think he would be the Mongolian one out of the two. I was like, I think he's Mongolian, but I didn't know. Consolidated neighboring tribes into unified country. I think I've just pressed the wrong answer. Shit. I think, never mind, maybe I haven't. Try again. Wow, it was Genghis. Shit. Well, I think it has to be now. Guessing, Sam. Oh, more of a split this time. Genghis Khan takes it, though. Are we right? We were wrong. If a couple more of you had gone for two, you would have swung it and got another wedge. Was able to challenge the powerful Jin dynasty in China. The noises she's making are concerning me, to be honest. 
I think it's got to be that, right? Let's go. Final part of the question. 1v1. Here we go. Who's going to get the wedge? Both of us or one of us? Okay, I have no idea. It can't. It cannot be the other one. I genuinely don't know this one. But I feel like logically in terms of time periods, there's only one option it can be. It's, I don't think Genghis Khan was alive during the Roman Empire, was he? Maybe he was. I don't know. Right, we both get the wedge. That's not good. It means you lot are on match point now. Shit. That is not good. That is not good. Top viewers now, we have Eddie in third, Warhero in second, Speedrunner continuing in first. Right, this is my category. Don't fuck me over now. Come on. Oh, no. You lot are going to fucking get all these right and then you're going to win. No, I refuse. No. I'll still have more matches overall, I guess. But I want to get a hat trick of victories. Yeah, we all we all knew that. If anyone got that wrong, I would have been stunned. His birth name is Marshall Bruce Mathers the third. The third? I really hope I'm right in going for who I've gone for, because I think I might have fucked it. It's got to be Kendrick, right? Only fucking kidding. Of course it's Eminem. Come on. I thought a few of you didn't know that, though. It's interesting. Hmm. Alright. Worked under the name K-Dot. I think we all are very quickly kind of going, well, hang on a minute. His name is Kendrick. K. K dot. Done. Yeah. You lot are going to get the fucking win handed to you on a silver plate like the last match for me. Rip. Fucking rip. Oh, shit. I think I know this one. Oh, bollocks, you lot all know it as well. Fuck you all. Why do you all know this? Oh, I was hoping it might be enough to just split the the, the, peep, the split the chat a little bit. Fuck. Oh, please fuck the last one up. Please, you lot, please. Please. Oh, fuck. Well, you know what? GG's the lot of you. Well done. You got the win. I still want more matches overall, though. Just saying. You know? Just saying. Just just saying. Just saying. Just saying. All right. See you later, fans. Well, I'm going to wrap up the stream in a moment anyway, so you can hang around for the end if you want, or just make a move. It's up to you. Right. Let's have a look at the leaderboard this time for who placed in the top six that match. Let's see who got it. Here we go, ladies and gents. So, well done, viewers. You beat me that time. Well done. Very well done. I'm going to react with an emoji. Well done. All right. Here are our top six viewers. We have in sixth place, and dude, 11,400. Fifth place, Tony, 11,600. Fourth place, Luna, 12,200. Tied with Eddie. So actually, they're both t uh, in third place. Uh, War Hero, slightly above in second place at 12,400. And taking the win at the end is Speedrunner with 14,400. GG to everyone. That was really fucking fun. I enjoyed that a lot. That was really good. I had a good time. Oh, wow. The, the bitrate tanked for a second there, but we are okay now, I hope? Question mark? Hopefully. Well, you lot could soon let me know. Anyway, that will about wrap up the stream. So thank you all very, very much for watching. I do greatly appreciate it. It's been a good stream. It's been a good stream. 
And uh, I will I will leave it there. I'm a bit worried about bitrate tanking a little bit. Let's just double check that you all still can hear me. Because the bitrate is very low. I reckon it's stable now, but it is low. So I'm wondering, are we are we good? Are we okay? Y'all can hear me, yeah? Y'all can hear me? Yeah. No one's saying anything, so it's a bit concerning. We can hear you. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. The bitrate tanked, but I've got the variable bitrate on now, so it should prevent the stream just crashing if that happens. It must just be a tiny little glitch or something. Bit odd. Bit odd. Whatever. Anyway, I can see that Rusty Chains is streaming a retro game this time. Just everyone in the chat this time, just put, uh, just say something like, uh, I can't believe. Everyone, I want you to copy this and say, I can't believe this isn't Kingdom Hearts. Okay? So, get ready to copy this message. Okay, so copy that message and put it into his chat when we raid. Why? Because it'll be fucking funny. Alright? So, get ready to do that. It's going to be absolute comedy, and I'm excited for it. Okay? So, here we go, ladies and gents. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow, same time, for presumably, I think, maybe some payday. We'll see. Don't know. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Peace!